Right, our first time. How much do you want to go into detail here? Uh, Let's do a demo. No! <laughs> Hey guys, this video is going to be about our first time together. Ooh. I sat on. I sat. I was like falling for you straight away. I was like, this girl is absolutely amazing. So our first time messaging each other. We connected on TikTok first. Yeah. I followed Kate first. I followed you because I thought her content was really real. It was really like inspirational. She's very open about her sexuality, and as someone who grew up, kind of closeted and not very open seeing somebody online be so confident in themselves definitely helped me to feel confident in myself as well and i thought you were really pretty yeah yeah excuses <laughs> i followed you but you've been on my fyp yeah. as you were going viral consistently so i definitely knew who you were so i did find you really attractive and really inspirational since then i've been stalking your page a lot i've been following millie for a long time and I was really nervous when I first started talking to her because she's really pretty, as you all know, and I just thought she was out of my league. So it was really exciting when I got the opportunity to speak to her and meet her. What? She's bang. You were an inspiration to me because you kept doing everything you wanted to do despite everything you'd gone through. I also didn't think you were bi. I Even though I had, a rainbow, I, had, I had a rainbow flag in my bio and I also said by AF. Then <laughs> we started commenting on each other's, we commented on each other's TikToks a bit. And then Kate DM'd me because I uploaded a video of myself crying because I'd had some really bad news about surgery, which was quite sweet. You were just asking if I was okay. And it was really, it's quite a funny message because it was like, I'm so proud of you and everything you've done. I didn't even know each other. <laughs> I guess because I've been following you for a while, I was proud yeah. of you already. So then the next thing that happened was I asked Kate where she was from. It turned out that she'd been five minutes down the road, which is actually unheard of when you message someone through TikTok and then find out that they literally live two minutes down the road. It's like everyone else I've spoken to, they'll be in like the US, or yeah. if they're in the UK, they'll be in like Manchester, it'll be the opposite side of the country. I could not get over it. We listened to our voice notes earlier, yeah. and I sounded mental, because I could she not get over so it. The voice note was like, Oh, mate, I'm baffled you are chasing me in the local area, you know. Locals, <laughs> locals. locals. I think also because we were kind of chatting, like we were chatting at, as friends at first. Yeah. So I feel like TikTok is kind of like the new dating app. In of, a way, yeah. yeah. I didn't even realise that until I met Instagram, you. Instagram, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely more better way to find people to date. So now we're moving on to our first Maybe time we're collaborating. <laughs> So I was basically chasing you for a collaboration and then we, be we were there for ages actually. And it was really weird. Usually I'm very awkward meeting new people. <laughs> Sorry. But when I met you, I just wanted to get to know, get to know you more. Why can't I speak? I just wanted to get, 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 <laughs> get you naked. Yeah, I felt like we clicked instantly. Yeah. And I've never, bearing in mind, we had never met in person. We hadn't even been, mess it's not like we built a really deep connection via messages. We've messaged yeah. a couple of times. Then we decided to meet up. But we instantly like hit it off, we were laughing. Yeah, I've never laughed that I, much. I think yeah. I literally wet myself. It wasn't even just that, like you were really pretty as well. Yeah, it wasn't even the fact that I wet myself. <laughs> that, <got laughs> that really got me going. Yeah. And we'll add the videos that we made. They were quite funny. Every guy. As you can see in that collab, I look very different. And for some reason, she still liked me. I thought you looked beautiful. I have Karen hair. I was like falling for you straight away. I was like, this girl is absolutely amazing. You make me laugh. You're beautiful. I was like, holy crap, basically. You were a little bit nervous. Because oh God, yeah. <laughs> I was really nervous. When we went inside, because we were sat outside by the river drinking, and then we decided to go inside and it was slightly warmer inside, so. Kate had to <laughs> make an announcement. She had to take her jumper off, but rather than like a normal person, just because you've become a bit warm, taking your jumper off, Kate said, oh, look, I'm gonna take my top off now, but don't worry because there's a top underneath. And I was just like, okay, who the fuck says that? And then as you were lifting your top up, the other top was going with it. And you were like, no, there is a top no, underneath. I promise, I swear there is not a top. <laughs> Clearly I was very nervous. That was the first time I saw her titties. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we met up, we collabed, and I think you, did you message me saying you had a really nice time? Yeah, of course I did, yeah. I was a little simp. I was, like, <laughs> I was just really excited when I could see you next time. What should we talk about now, our first night out? Yeah. 
We were both out in the local town with your friends and I was with my friends and obviously I was obsessed so I was like, girl, what are you saying, what are you doing? It was your brother actually that came round with a group of boys that, that I... That sounds so dodgy. <laughs> well, I know. Like your brother just came to my yard. Who was driving Kate and uh, like a group of boys I'd never met and this was kind of a mad move for me because I'd met you once before yeah. and then I said, yeah, that's fine, just come pick me up from my house, this is my address. <laughs> so they came pick me up, I got into this car with this random group of boys and Kate was the only person I knew and she still didn't think that I fancied her. <laughs> yeah, no, I was still like, this girl really wants to be my friend. Yeah, yeah no, I really rated that though because I have been friends with and seen people who refuse to meet my friends so I was like that is mad that she'll just day one <laughs> meet, meet all of your friends that is true actually what <laughs> it's our first time like that's when we like dance sexy together yeah and Kate still thought I wanted to be her friend <laughs> honestly I'm so stupid with these things I thought this was just how she danced with everyone so I had seen you dancing like that with everyone at the last event <laughs> that makes me sound like slid <laughs> Shaking your ass in a circle with everyone you met. I got a bit confused. I was like, is this girl seriously just want to be my friend? Or is she dancing with me in that way? Whatever it was, I was finding it quite spicy. Yeah, to be fair, Kate did lean in to kiss me and yeah. I swerved. <laughs> she swerved me and it was really embarrassing because I was in front of all of my friends. <laughs> but you were just like, yeah. like cool. <laughs> but to be fair, they were hyping me up to do it. So I just blamed them afterwards. Really? Yeah. Ben really pulled funny. me aside and was like, you're gonna fucking kiss her or what? Really? Yeah. yeah, I actually remember when we went on a night out recently and he pulled me aside and he was like, I really like you. Okay, which yeah. is cute. The moment you've all been waiting for. Sexy time! <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, our first time. How much do you want to go into detail here? Uh, Let's do a demo. No. <laughs> you came over to mine. Yeah. For and you were, like, you were like, well, this we, is a boys' we were, room. We weren't sure if uh, if I was going to stay over because I came over and we sat with some of Kate's friends in the garden. And I actually sat. Well, I sat on. Can I say this? Yeah. I sat on one of the boys' laps. And he thought he had secured the tin. He was like, Lights, are you seeing this? Are you <laughs> seeing the this? Because <laughs> I look quite straight as well, so. You do I think, a straight vibe. Yeah, he definitely thought that I was moving to him. So <laughs> I got the vibe that you did want to just be friends. Yeah, so then like, I had to Previously, her... when I had tried to kiss her, she'd swerved me. She just, just wanted to be friends. I'm hard to get. Yeah, cool. Still do. <laughs> that makes it <laughs> Still do. <laughs> She's still doing this to me. Yeah, so I sat on um, Kate. I sat. On... You just sat. On... <laughs> okay. I sat on Kate's brother's <laughs> friend. <laughs> I'm explaining this. Sounds Why did you do that? Because I wanted to make her jealous. Because she wasn't giving me much attention. And I, you did get a bit jealous. I, I did could, get I a bit jealous. I could tell you got yeah. a bit jealous. You were like, like guys, guys, hey, guys. Should take this inside now. <laughs> should we go inside? Yeah. yeah. I think we should change our seats. Because we were all just. <laughs> Should we play? Should we play a um... musical chair? <laughs> musical chair. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't like the scenery. I don't, I don't know. know what's going on here. And I was mentioning, you know, I'd lost my keys to go home. Did you actually lose your keys? No. <laughs> I hundred percent believed you. You're like, ah, oh, just I've lost my keys, so gonna have to stay. No, yours. I made out that I'd lost my house keys, so I had to stay at Kate's. Great line, by the way. Yeah. I fell for that. It's a top tip. Definitely use it. So oh, then, yeah, finally, right. finally, we went upstairs. Well, I still was convinced that you were straight and didn't want to do anything. How? I don't know, but we got into bed and decided to not put you on the floor, and you could stay in my bed that night. Didn't know what was going through your head, to be honest. Then I was even more obsessed because 10 out of 10. But it was, it was like um, lesbian vibes, I feel like, because the next day we spent the entire day together yeah. and pretty much cuddled all day. And it felt like, okay, this is a bit deep, but it did feel like we knew each other so well already. Yeah, definitely. We had our first time mm -hmm. and then it's actually two weeks. Oh no, because I, I started inviting, I got invited through my management to quite a lot of TikTok events. And because Kate is a TikToker as well, I thought it's like a crowd that she knows. No, it was more just that I just wanted you to go. I didn't know any of them. <laughs> didn't know any of them. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going or what I was doing. Um, but you invited me, so I'll be there. Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, so I invited Kate. Then we went to be in a music video together. I still haven't watched that. No, I haven't seen that either. We need to look at that. 
probably famous. Yeah, who, um, probably yeah we went to lots of events. So we spent like two weeks like going out a lot together, spending a lot of time together. And then... I mentally showed up at your house at 11pm <laughs> with a bunch of flowers because I decided I needed to secure the thing and I was jealous of the idea that you could be speaking to other people and I didn't want that going on because I just wanted you. So as a typical lesbian, Ken, I showed up at your house and no, I was but, to be my girlfriend. No, but it was way cuter than that. Kate didn't have her driving license at the time so she cycled on her bike at 11 p.m. in the dark and had chocolates and flowers and asked me to be her girlfriend. And I said declined. No. <laughs> no, I said I said let's be exclusive. So to me, I count that as the first day that we started dating. But I just was thinking, okay, this has been two weeks. Am I moving mad? But I feel like now looking back, I should have just said yeah. But I was, trying to, no, I was trying to be sensible. It felt like this to sound bad, but I'd never been rejected. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I hadn't, like, I'm being honest. Yeah. Like, I hadn't been rejected, but I'd never had so much respect for a response. Yeah. Because you're really real about it, and you're like, I don't want to do it until it's 100% right, because I don't want this to be a quick thing, and it's yeah. over. Lesbian culture is like, everything moves at 100 miles Rapid. an hour. Yeah, and I didn't, I really saw a future with you, so I didn't want to just have, like, a quick fling and be all about lust and things like that. I wanted to work out whether, and then just get together and then break up. Mm -hmm. I wanted to work out whether I actually really, really liked you. And I, I did. I like this body. <laughs> yeah, I want to just like nice body. Um, um, I then was the first to say I love you. So. Yeah, cause, cause I think I'd not rush, but I knew my feelings. I knew that I wanted to be with you and obviously Everyone watching this is probably going to be like, two weeks is rapid and I should have done that. <laughs> I didn't want to scare you into that next step of saying I love you because yeah, I knew I loved I you. declined you. Yeah, it's like I've been rejected anyway. Okay. Um, when did you know that you loved me? Because I knew before I, uh, before I said it, but... Yeah, no, so did I. I don't, I wouldn't be able to give you... I thought it was the one week mark. <laughs> Actually, I think it was day two. Uh, but there's a lot of things that happening like you know when you look at someone you're like holy shit this is this is deeper than i originally thought yeah genuinely from the first night that i spent with you i was like i feel like this is my person so yeah really you don't have to say that <laughs> no 100 percent. i was like yeah. this is someone i get on with it's because we, yeah, we actually have a laugh and have sexual chemistry as well. So, yeah, so it was because like, I'm a Scorpio, she's Pisces. So basically, it just works. We're yeah. compatible. From the first day I met you, I was like, I really get this girl, really click. And obviously, when it started to develop in something that wasn't just friendship, this this is the one because there were so many green flags. And I think I actually fell for you way faster than you knew that I was falling for you. Yeah, I thought you were just I, like, fuck this hoe. I played, I played it quite cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you next week with another video. Bye! Bye.